Do you want to reach weapon mastery on a weapon in Apex Legends? Well, that could take you a long time as the developer stated that it will take around 100 hours of in-game time, depending on your skill, to reach level 100 on a single weapon. Multiply that by 29 weapons in the game and you're looking at 2,900 hours of grinding to reach weapon mastery on every single weapon. And I imagine that some of the weapons would take even longer, such as the Kraber, which you can only get a hold of occasionally. Because of this, it is vital that you are following the tips I mentioned in this video to level up your weapons as fast as possible. If you didn't already know what the point of leveling up your weapons are, it's not just for bragging rights, but you also get in-game rewards to show off. For each weapon, you can lock badges of the weapon, trackers that display how many kills and damage you have with that weapon, a free apex pack that contains a guaranteed legendary item of the weapon you leveled up. Once you go all the way up to level 100 with the weapon, you unlock a banner frame. And you can use this banner frame on any legend you want. And if you want to go all out and hit level 100 on every weapon, you will be rewarded with a really nice universal banner frame. And I'm sure this banner frame will impress people because, I mean, this takes a long time to get. So the first tip I got for you is to focus on reaching weapon mastery on a few weapons at once. I would say at least three. You want to be spreading out your focus onto more than one weapon because you might not always have access to the weapon of your choice. With this in mind, if you're going for weapon mastery on every weapon in the game, then make sure you look out for care package weapons as you need to get them leveled up too. And I imagine reaching level 100 on a care package weapon such as the Kraber will take a long time. If there is ever a limited time mode available that lets you select the Kraber as a loadout or it is easily available, then I 100% recommend playing that so you can level it up a little bit faster. But how do you get weapon XP and how can you get more of it? Well, the first factor towards weapon XP is your damage. The more damage you do, the more XP you will gain. But there are other ways to increase this even further. Every time you deal damage when sliding, zipping, and jumping, you will gain bonus XP. So movement is a key factor in maximizing the XP you gain for your weapon. But for the most XP per damage, you want to be aiming for the head. Headshots will provide the most XP possible. This means that if you see a free target or someone's AFK, then you should always be going for headshots. Another factor are kills. Every time you secure a kill with a weapon, you will earn some more weapon XP. Pretty straightforward. Then another factor that you should not overlook is holding your weapon. The entire time you hold your gun, you will be gaining XP. Even if you aren't shooting a single bullet, you could just be standing there and you will gain XP. This means that theoretically, you can level up your weapons while being away from the game and standing still. But I certainly would recommend doing that because your poor teammates will probably hate you and you may get banned. So to get this weapon XP, the weapon has to be in your hands and it cannot be holstered. Whenever you're running around with your guns holstered, you won't be gaining anything. So if you want to maximize the XP gain, you should run around with your gun out. However, if you are doing this, you will be running slower. So it should only be used if you are desperate for some more XP. Then another little trick is that if you want to level up your shotguns, then play some Mad Maggie as she can run with shotguns out much faster than the other legends. So then there is no need to holster. You can simply load up some duos, trios, or even some rank to level up your weapons, but I wouldn't recommend that. If you want to be as a efficient as possible, you want to be playing the mixtape, which includes control, deathmatch, and gun run. Now, control and deathmatch are amazing. You can select your loadout so you know they have one of the weapons you need, and you can get a ton of damage and eliminations in these game modes without having to be the best player in the world. One thing I would certainly keep in mind is that you want to remain alive as much as possible, as whenever you are waiting to respawn, you won't be getting any weapon XP, so just stay alive, keep that weapon in your hand. Even if you do absolutely nothing but hold your gun in one of these game modes, you will eventually reach level 100 on your weapon. And then gun run isn't great for a single weapon, but if you want to reach max level on every gun, it can be a fun way to get a head start on some of the weapons that you rarely use. If you made it this far in the video, let me know which weapon you want to master first. For me, it's probably going to be either the flatline or the R99. Now getting damage and eliminations are essential for leveling up your weapons fast, but you can't do that without good aims. So you should check out this video where I list 12 aiming tips and tricks in Apex Legends.